How you started huh? That's how I started it with you. Oh my god! You know it's gonna be good oh, when you hear. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> the, uh, Eric's resting mood is here we go because and it's usually I'm usually right. <laughs> usually, right after I say here we go, some nonsense starts. <laughs> there might be some nonsense on the show today. There might well, be some stuff. I would I would not be surprised. Yeah. Thanks for coming over, dude. Yeah, man. I was telling you, this is like my old stomping grounds. I, I grew up like so close to here. It's crazy. Yeah. Did, did were as you were driving over, were you getting some flashbacks and memories just because you're so close to the area? Uh, yeah. What's changed is Pico. Yeah. Like, like all of the, like the gentrification so on Pico different. is crazy. It's so different because I remember back in like uh when the riots, the Rodney King riots. Like that, it, this was a weird area, man. Like mm-hmm. you know, all, they burned down the the, the the market that was right there, and and it, it was like you know, right from my place, I could see so much devastation in, in right in the this area. So this is like like this side of Pico is like the bougie sort of middle class, and and like you know that it's ghetto adjacent because like the other side of Pico before was like totally different. Oh, for even five years ago? Yeah, it's just really crazy different. It's a huge jump. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. now they got that like fancy apartment building over there now, and I'm just like, what's going on over Have here? Have you seen part of Hollywood and stuff like that, how they're adding those mega apartments? Yeah. Like, just where there used to be shanty apartments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, literally, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. I used to live on uh, uh, San Monica and Cahuenga next to a car wash. Dude, it was across from the park. It was so shady over there. Of course. There was literally like crack houses like on the same street as me and they've been demolishing them all and they're going to start building. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. People want to live in LA. Here we go. What is this for? Is this for like just just so people can get like a quick workout in while they're doing the show? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, oh, I know what this is. This is just to keep this stable. My yep. bad. <laughs> I, re- I just... <laughs> I thought to myself, oh, this is, it all happened in my head like this. Cause I saw one over there and I thought, oh, this is like a rickety ass table that he got. <laughs> and so instead of, instead of getting a good table, he was like, let me just get some of these weights I don't use. <laughs> <laughs> and then put it on the table. I get it. I mean, okay, let's, uh, let's do some exercising. Grab your, your, your weight. Okay, when was the last time you did these, Eric? One. All the time. Two. Really? Yeah, I got some. I use them on my. Uh, Three. Like I got a rowing machine now. Four. Boom. Now we got to do the other yeah, side. Of a rowing there. machine. Yeah. Are you a grandfather? It's, yeah. <laughs> I just turned fifty. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no switch. Switch. Uh-huh. Switch. Okay. Oh, this is the other hand. This is like the. The non-dominant. Yeah, this is the, the one you don't touch the penis with. Yeah, this is the non-masturbating <laughs> hand. The, the ghost. Yeah. Unless you're. Well, no, you still text with this hand when you're... (laughs) (laughs) Oh, doing the double? (laughs) You're like, do I need this hand anymore? (laughs) Okay, we did it. All right, we did some good exercising. That was nice. Nice and warmed up. Yeah, feeling good. Okay, now what? There's so much that I have thoughts to do. In store for today? Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Yeah, I usually see one of your tweets. It's like, Eric Griffin's coming on. What? You know, I didn't see that today, so you must have something already planned. (laughs) Don't worry about what other people are chiming into the podcast today. I got some ideas for Eric Griffin. All right. I I always show up, you know, even if I'm like, this is the nonsense, I still show up. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Yeah. You got a wedding coming up. Yeah, man. Is that hitting you? Yeah, it is. It's soon. Yeah, yeah, it really it, it is hitting me, but like not necessarily in like a oh my god, but just yeah. like, just like it was just with the first of all, it was supposed to be a small ass wedding, dude. Has it? Bl- 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 <sighs> of course, it's ballooned, right? It's ridiculous, dude. It's and crazy. every day, and every day, it's somebody who's like, hey, uh, I didn't get my invitation, and then you're like, oh no, no, no. and you're like, oh whoops, yeah. Uh, 
I don't want anyone to go, really. <laughs> I know. I saw the time that you put the wedding at. <laughs> yeah, dude, we, yeah. It's going to be some nonsense. <laughs> In my life. Calabasas on a Thursday at, at 4.30? <laughs> So your day is shot. We try to tell everybody it's gonna be traffic, dude. I'm literally her, her parents like, parents are paying for it. What am I supposed to do? Hey, man, you know what if I mean? that's what they want, that's what they want. They didn't. That, that's why I figured. Oh, I yeah. told Maya. I I told her. I was. I was like, this is the ultimate test in Eric's friendship with people. <laughs> <laughs> putting this, a wedding at four thirty on a Thursday. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm like, are you kidding me? I know. I know. This is the ultimate. This is the ultimate. Like with Eric judging, like when he sees people showing up, like, oh, okay. Yeah, I know. Okay, you well, do. You I, do mess with me. All right. But I'm. I'm. Uh. Yeah. I, but I. I'm actually already feeling like that anyway. Of the people that have been like, yeah, we're gonna come. You know. Yeah. Because I actually thought a lot of people that I invited would be like, hey, I'm gonna be out of town. Sorry. And I'd be. And it's cool. Like I. I keep telling everybody it's okay. One thing that I, which is a compliment to you, there's a lot of people who we invited who I definitely thought were not going to come that like went out of their way to come. And I was like, oh, mm -hmm. I, that's nice that like I, they mean a lot to me. Obviously, I'm inviting them, but they're going out of their way to come. So I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what like I'm I'm seeing that. And then I see then I see other people at the comedy store sometimes when I go, oh, I totally would Sp want to invite these two people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And But I'm like... <sighs> Where there's there, there's got to the, be a the weird cutoff? cutoff or line. It's I, like an imaginary fishing line that keeps moving. As, yeah, I yeah. just so I just I just tell people straight up like, hey, listen, it's just it is what it is. I I you know I keep saying I really I literally thought it was going to be a small wedding and I I, I don't know it w whatever. I'm glad of the people that are going to be there. And I tell people, hey, if you can't make it, just send me a nice gift. <laughs> hey, that's honest. <laughs> Yeah, you know I show mean? up. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Mr. Watkins, would you like some more days before y'all sat at the body? I know all of a sudden it's like, it ain't going to be like that. It's <laughs> super chill. I'm trying to make it quick. I don't even have like, I'm not even having groomsmen. She's not even having. Oh, so you don't have a best man? No, I'm not doing that. I have my cousin who is my closest, like my, she's my dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like. Alyssa is going to be with me. Okay. And then Rachel's brother, Michael, is going to be with her. Yeah. So they'll walk down together. They'll be standing next to us for a little while. And then, you know, we'll get the rings or whatever from them or whatever. And then and then we'll do our thing. And then, you know, we'll just have a little party. And then everybody will just be like, can you believe we're up here on a Thursday? And <laughs> Leonard Robinson said something funny to me. Leonard was like, is this a doctor's appointment or a... <laughs> A wedding because it sounds like a doctor's appointment. Right, right. Four thirty on a right, Thursday. Four thirty. Um, this is the last possible time that we can see you. <laughs> yeah. Um, just make it um real quick. We're gonna shut down shop right after you leave. So make sure that you're prompt and and not tardy. It is what it is. I mean, I, you know, like I said, if I I don't even know what I would do differently. I totally get destination weddings now. It makes sense to me now. Oh uh, well. Yeah. It really does. It just you cut a lot of the. <laughs> The fat. Yeah, yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. People bye. are just like, hey, I can't make it to... Oh, really? Oh. Whoops. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wish you could have been here. I know, but it's just like, you know, what are, what are we supposed to do? And then, like, I uh, I, I don't know. I just... It's just... It's just... Like, I, I feel... Ex I feel a little anxiety, but I don't know what... It, I don't know what that's from. Like, I, You haven't pinpointed it yet? No, because it's not like I'm like, do I really want to do this? That's not the thing, because... We already live together. Our lives are already, you know, if, if, if I wasn't with her, I'd have a Ferrari. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's I'm already invested. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I feel like that's something that you've told Rachel? <laughs> oh, yeah. I would. Listen. <laughs> yeah. If you weren't here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I'm I, like, I, hey, I, yo, yo, I'm invested. I, <laughs> just know. <laughs> I would be driving a Ferrari right now had it not been for you in this wedding. So just just know that moving forward. Mm -hmm. And what's for dinner tonight? Sometimes you need sometimes you need like you know to put it out there plainly. Sometimes you're not appreciated. People people can't appreciate you unless they know what you've sacrificed. What means important things to you? Mm. Like things that are not important to them. They don't even consider, but if it's something that's important to you, 
Like, say I would like to travel and I want to travel fancy and I want to do, you know, and I haven't been able to do that because, oh, I'm with this person and I'm enjoying a different life because of, you know, not that I'm, I, I don't miss it. I'm saying this is what I'm doing instead, but this is what I could have been doing. And you might, someone might be like, well, that doesn't mean anything to me. Well, it means something to me. Right. You know, you could, you could be like a comic book collector. You could have been like, well, I could have got Superman number one, but I'm marrying you. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever it is, whatever your thing is. <laughs> I don't. What, what's happening right now? <laughs> Aaron Griffin's getting married. I guess we're doing a song. <laughs> continuation to our other song because you actually had a baby <laughs> oh yes you looking at um crypto uh, yeah no. my doge 
Now that now that Elon he bought <laughs> now that Elon bought Twitter, <laughs> things be changing around here. We'll see. I don't know what the, you know. People are so whatever about it. Can you imagine forty four billion? Dude, this is what I was saying. Can you fathom being in a room with forty four billion dollars? This is what I, I I just thought to myself. Can't you make your own app for like five hundred million? <laughs> Like, I, like people keep saying, well, he's buying the user base, but didn't TikTok get a user base? Yeah. So, so I'm just like, why don't you take a billion of it, you know, hire the best people from all the companies because you got the money, you, you're willing to overspend, yeah. make yourself like Musk You book. can call the app Elon. Yeah, you make the Elon app. You know, you you buy Super Bowl commercials, you buy billboards all over the country, you buy, you, you know, you buy those like, you know, you can make these expensive ads where you got like, ex, you know... Fucking Miley Cyrus is doing a song. You have enough money. Wh- yeah, what if tw- Twitter like goes away in the next few years? Well, I don't think it is. I don't think he's going to allow that. No, but he, not but he, anymore. But I just, you know, and then the people that get so upset about like, well, you know, what's he going to do with it? Like, who owns it now? Like, why aren't you concerned about whoever is in charge now? Currently. Yeah. Nobody seems to care or even know. Mm-mm. At least we'll be, at least we'll know now. So he can like we will like if something's up with Twitter, we could be like, well, that's Elon's fault. He he's he's making himself accountable. Have you ever gotten a job where they make you uh, delete some tweets? No, not never like a network job where no, they're no, like, no. hey, you need to go through and delete these. No, that's that, that's never happened to me. Oh, me? Oh, really? They did a check and they're like, um, these are problematic. Really? That yeah. must have been recent. Yeah, it was for something I was auditioning for that I didn't end up getting. They made me delete something. It was a video that I did with Ari Shafir. They're like, can you delete this? Oh, well, it's more about that. It's probably more about Ari than it is. Mm, it was feminist Stacy acting like she was raping Ari Shafir. Oh, wow. <laughs> she gets raped more, men or women? Women, loser. I will rape you right now just to change the statistics oh, on life. Really? Yeah, and Do you science. think you're faster than me? I am faster than you. I will rape you right now. Try it, loser. I will. Come on, bring it, JC. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. No, I'm being raped. I'm being literally raped. Oh, no. No. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> There you go. They're like, they're like, can you just delete this one? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I guess. I wish there was just like a, there should just be a button. Just start fresh. Delete everything. The panic button. Yeah. You just, and then like, it just will wipe just wipes out everything, everything on social media. Like even your, like even your DMs, it should just be like, delete all this. On both sides on both of sides. accounts. Yeah. So people can't screenshot yeah, stuff. Yeah. Just like, just get rid of everything. <laughs> I don't know. Dude, it's, the nuke. That'd be cool. A tech, yeah. a technical nuke. Yeah, that's what you need right nowadays because it's like crazy. Like you know, just no. It, you, you, first of all, you can't trust anybody. You know, um, you don't know anybody's intentions, and you know, and sometimes you know, and then people will misconstrue anything you say anyway to what they want it to be, so it doesn't even matter. Hmm. You know, so it's just a weird thing. But I've, I have never had that. I'm surprised, even when I did that. Uh, but I don't think I have stuff. I, I, I would. That's not the kind of thing I would do anyway. What? You know, dress up like a chick and rape someone. <laughs> I mean, I hate to put it, it's so simple, but that's what you did. <laughs> I was miming. You don't a, gotta justify it. <laughs> I was miming a blowjob. You don't. You don't, you don't gotta justify. I was it. miming a blowjob over there. Did you give him a roofie and a Viagra? That's. <laughs> <laughs> The double treble? <laughs> I guess that's Rufy how you... and a Viagra. That, that's how you... I guess that's I, how women do it. I guess that's how women would have to do it. I guess so. Which is would be upsetting to any man, because you'd be like, just ask me. <laughs> what, what, Why did you... What, what was the I'm more for? offended <laughs> yeah, yeah. that you didn't just let me smash. Well, well, I guess it depends who it is, too, though. Come <laughs> <laughs> here, <laughs> Let's let me sit on it real quick. And you'd be like, where's the roofie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like Morpheus, but it's like a disgusting yeah. troll lady. <laughs> you take the blue pill. <laughs> Do you want to know everything that happened? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to experience everything that happened? Or do you want to like pretend like like Severance? Have you seen the show Severance? Mm. 
It's a great show. Is it? Yeah, it's about like they go to work. It's about like when you go to this particular job, when you get in the elevator and you go up, you forget about your home life. So really? You're almost like you're a different person. And then when you go down the elevator and you're going home, you become that person again. You become Ooh. your home. So it's kind of, it's kind of spooky. If you think about it like this, it would mean that like let's say every time you did Jeremiah Wonders or even Scissor Brothers, you you're your podcast self, right? But that would mean you're always your podcast self when you're that person. So you're just always doing a podcast. Like you're never you you're never living life or you're just always That's doing a that podcast. One version of you? Yes. Like of the elevator? Yeah. So Ooh. like that part of it makes it kind of like ugh, so you're just always at work. You yeah. just you're just always like every time you wake up you're in an elevator like oh I just I feel rested because or or whatever and it's just really fascinating. It's a great show. Apple TV I highly recommend it. Okay. Yeah. All right. I've been watching uh, Winning Time on. Um, don't like it. You don't like it. I'm gonna tell you why. But you but you follow basketball really closely, so you might know w- way better than. Yeah, but it's not even about that. I don't like this like weird '70s effect they put on everything. I think it's distracting. I think it's like, hey, they had to do that because technology was shitty. Technology's so good now. So you're like, don't do that. Don't do that. Like technology was shitty. That's why it looked like that. Yeah. You got 4K shit now. What are you doing? Why are you downgrading? Why are you downgrading? All right. And it's just distracting. And then I don't like the I don't like the performances. I think that they're too one note. You know, it's like Kareem is stoic asshole. Magic is, you know, I just want to have sex and, uh, you know. You but, think they're too, like, archetypal of yeah, the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. I don't think it's, a, and it's, there's no depth to it. There's no. Yeah. There's the no. The sex fiend, the religious one. Right, uh, exactly. I, Interesting. And, I, and, and then we know enough about Magic Johnson to know that that's not Magic Johnson. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's a public figure. He's been around for 20 years. We know he liked the punk. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> We know the ending to that story. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. So like, so we know that, but like the thing we is, we riffing a because <laughs> he got that a magic Johnson got the mates. <laughs> Oh, we got it. They call them maids. That's the new show coming to Fox. Maids. It's Magic Johnson. It's coming so, to Fox. <laughs> so I don't like it for that reason. When you thought AIDS weren't fun enough, <laughs> maids. This is his next network show. Can you just delete that part? <laughs> Hi. Um, we're doing another network check. <laughs> And we saw you on there with Eric Griffin in auto tune singing AIDS. Can you remove that clip from your Instagram? Just remove that part about the AIDS. So, yeah. Other than that, we love you. Learning a second language in school wasn't exactly a high point for some of us. Now, thanks to Babbel, the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions, there's a fun and easy way to learn a new language. Babbel teaches bite-sized language lessons that you'll actually use in the real world. (sighs) I've been wanting to become fluent in Spanish for a long time. I did four years in high school and I never got there. And I think now with Babbel, I can actually do it because they have 15 minute bite-sized lessons to make the perfect language learning on the go. I actually did a five minute version this morning just to get things kick started and get me back in the groove of things. Babbel lessons were created by over 100 language experts, not AI like those other apps. Choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. You can access podcasts, games, videos, and stories, and even live classes so you'll learn the best way for you, and that's what's important for you. And with Babbel's speech recognition technology, you improve your pronunciation and accent. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Me llamo Jeremias. Plus, Babbel comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. Right now, save up to 60% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash Jeremiah. That's babbel.com slash Jeremiah for up to 60% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. I hope you guys enjoyed the Stand Up On The Spot premiere that was last week. Look out for more coming soon. And now let's get back into this awesome episode with my pal, Eric Griffin. 
but I, I don't other so I'm still gonna watch it you know and then even the Jerry West character like I hear people are complaining about the Jerry West character or at least he is he is well because the first three or four episodes you're like this guy's terrible yeah yeah but but the last like two like four episodes like you know up to episode eight like six seven eight I think it, you're starting to see a person who cares about the team and is trying to, you know, he, like yeah, he, he's not even with the team anymore. And he keeps showing up to try to. to so it's a more himself. developed thing, but like I, but like I keep saying, where's the people saying he wasn't an asshole? Yeah, no, it's just him. This is him. <laughs> they misrepresented me, and everybody else is like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I don't see the multitude of tweets and people being like, no, Jerry West was a good dude. Not that it even matters. Like, right. I, like it, it don't take away from his greatness. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I'm just saying, like, it, I, I, even that, but I feel like that character has more range yeah. than some of these other characters. So I just, I don't know. I, that's why I don't like it. Did you play basketball at all? Yeah, I did. I played basketball. That was my favorite sport. I played Ooh. basketball. I played in high school. What position? Um, I was like forward. Where did they put you at? I was yeah. like a forward, yeah, because like I went a small to small forward or power forward. Because I went to a small high school, so it was okay. like forward center. Because I was the tallest guy, I was six three. You know? Yeah, I remember going to big man camp because, and I was at big man camp, and it was like out there. Everybody was calling me little man. <laughs> oh yeah, for see, I played center and power forward in, in high school, and I was the smallest center in power forward. Yeah, you we go and play other schools. You see other schools, you're like, well, goddamn. Uh, oh, man. Yeah. It's going? different out here. Yeah. So that's yeah. what it was. It was like, you know, all these six ten, seven foot kids. Yeah. Six, nine. I was like, God damn. When did it sink into you that you weren't going to, like, go farther with basketball? Oh, I already, I knew from the jump. I, you know? I, I, I never, I had, I had never played basketball when I was, like, a freshman. I didn't play. I didn't start playing until sophomore year in high school. And I only played because I was tall, you know, and then it was like, and it was like a struggle at first. Like the foreign exchange. Yeah. Yeah. Pick him. Yeah. And I was like, okay. So I just figured it out. And then it was like a bunch of challenges and I enjoyed that. That's how I am. So it was like a challenge and it was like trying to prove people wrong. And then I just had a really great time and uh, you're doing it. But I knew, I knew what it was. You know what I mean? I knew what it was. I almost wish like if there was like a time machine, I would go back and tell my seven year old self. Start practicing. Yeah, practice basketball. You're going to yeah. love it. You what know? did you do at seven? Like around that time? Were you doing other sports? No, no sports. I wasn't. I don't, I don't even remember even playing any sports. Yeah. I was going, you know, I had, I was, a, I was playing outside, playing hide and seek and stuff like that, you know, playing freeze tag. <laughs> but and, nobody ever came to find me. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I know. I was like, hello. <laughs> hello. I'm still hiding here. I'm re- it's been four hours. I know I'm good at this. <laughs> I'm getting really good at this. How did I just go all state and hide and seek? <laughs> <laughs> that's like what would, what would that even be that, that that that'd be a funny contest that, what a terrible tv show that would be oh a hide and seek show yeah like a hide and seek uh, welcome to the hide and seek internationals uh <laughs> the camera angles are just a blank places <laughs> <laughs> it's just cutting into places but there's nobody like, on them and then the announcer's going like uh, you can't even see jeremiah this is jeremiah such a- is such an expert performer <laughs> you what can't a, even see him. what a great hiding place this is it will be back and it's just like you know yeah. Three hours later, oh, they still haven't found him. I don't know, but it's just, um, yeah, I didn't really start playing sports and again until I got into uh, high school, and it was, uh, you know, I had a good time, but I never, I did, I didn't have asper, I didn't love it like that. Did you ever do like public speaking or or any of those other extracurricular activities outside of that? No, no, I never did that. I was always funny. I always never had a problem with that. Yeah. So there was always, but there still was wasn't the. Th- it, it, only, it was only like a sort of thought like, oh, you can do this for a living? You know, well, I didn't know yet. Tells you nobody that. tells you that. Literally nobody yeah. when you're younger yeah. tells you that that's even a, a job because they don't want to encourage that in school. Exactly. I was just about to say because a teacher will be like, oh, the comedian. You know what I mean? Like, you're, like It's all negative. So when you you get that negative reinforcement of comedy, yeah. then you're just like, I guess oh, I guess I shouldn't do now that. Now there's so many podcasts and stuff out there. There's kids that are like, I'm going to be a professional comedian someday. I don't know why they would do that. I think they want to say I'll be a prof- I want to start my own podcast. Good. Why well, there's so many? I'm gonna. I wonder what's the actual count. Would you do an eight year old's podcast? A podcast? Yeah, that would be hilarious. <laughs> I mean, because that's why the that show kids say the darndest things is so funny. Because right. they literally do. They're just imagine being interviewed. I just think it'd be funny, like just having an eight year old be man on the street. You know, you just have an eight year old with a camera, and you just okay. Just, then let's do it. What are you talking about? Let's do it. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, why do I come on this show? (laughs) 
Hello, and welcome back to my inaugural podcast. Um, big guest on the show today. We have a man who's been in movies with Adam Sandler. He has been on a hit uh, show on the television called Workaholics. And so much more, he's got his podcast. Big, that I'm a big fan of, of him. Uh, his name is Eric Griffin. Let's make it loud, wild for Eric Gr- uh, Griffin. Welcome uh, to my, um, my where you, podcast. Where are your parents? <laughs> I, feel, I feel they weren't home when I got here, so this is going to be strange if they walk in. Do they know you do this? Well, live streaming right now? Let's not <laughs> talk about it. <laughs> my parents are away at the moment. They would be terrified that I invited my 50-year-old friend, Eric Griffin, <laughs> Over to my space to record the podcast. Now uh, we have a very limited time, as it is my bedtime in <laughs> twenty minutes from now. So, without further ado, let's get into these hard-hitting facts. Sometimes I wear my dad's wedding wing when he's not here. Anyway, you went from an eight-year-old to a weird Asian guy. <laughs> you got you got work on that accent. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, okay, yeah. Let's, let's, let's keep it politically correct. <laughs> I'm, not doing, I'm not doing any voice right now. <laughs> I'm doing an eight-year-old and you're trying to entrap me right now. I don't you, appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm talking to <laughs> Steve Lee's uncle. <laughs> Randy Lee over here. <laughs> okay. My, my name is Wendy. Yes. Um, thank you for doing my podcast, Eric. Uh-huh. Um, so what is it like to be on this, a movie set with people that you really respect? This is the, what the eight-year-old would ask. Okay. Is it's- this not... <laughs> did you not get my email with the follow-up questions? <laughs> So, in this scenario, I have been corresponding <laughs> with an eight-year-old over the internet. <laughs> Edward Griffin has a lot of free time on his hands. And I came over to his house <laughs> when his parents are out of town <laughs> to sit in his hot-ass garage. Okay. <laughs> uh, being on a television show with people I respect is, was amazing. <laughs> oh. Thank you for that concise answer. We only have... Should I bow, Randy Lee? Because <laughs> it certainly sounds like you are Confucius say. <laughs> you, <laughs> you really got to work on this is my your little kid voice. <laughs> yeah. This is just... <laughs> this, is just, <laughs> this, this is just how I talk. Okay, my bad. Okay. <laughs> Don't want to insult you, Randy. <laughs> Thank you. My lineage of family would be very upset. Anyway. Okay. So, I noticed that you're on what? No, we were on Netflix. Yeah. Net who? Netflix. Net. Net Fri- Fricks? Fricks. Fricks. Netflix. 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 That's a whole different platform, I think. Netflix? <laughs> yeah, Netflix is different from Netflix. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, I, I saw you streaming on Netflix, and I noticed that you um, were in a in a movie, mm-hmm. and and did that t- did that take a while? Did, who are you t- texting? Am I not interesting? No, no, no. It's just it was actually my stepfather, and anytime he calls, I get a little nervous because. Oh, okay. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, well, I gotta tell him. Okay. No. I'm not here with anybody. No, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> okay. I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, Mom. Okay. Yeah, because it's like my mom has dementia, so I hate to cut into the thing. So anytime my stepfather calls, I always feel like, uh-oh. There's a situation. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to text. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm like, that's, it, it, I hate to be like that, but let me just. It's, it's okay. It's not like I spent all day setting up this equipment <laughs> while my parents were away or anything like that. What else do you do when your parents are away? <laughs> well, there 
is I don't have any siblings, uh, but mm. I do have a game of Hungry Hungry Hippos, and sometimes I like to play the game by myself. You ever play Hungry Hungry Hippos? I have not played Hungry Hungry Hippos. Mm. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Oof, how many views is this podcast again? <laughs> Four. I clicked it and refreshed it a few times. So you're the only person that watches it? But you're going to give me a bump, <laughs> as they say. And he means a bump, meaning more viewers. I'm not bringing drugs to the eight-year-old. When was the last time you did cocaine and amphetamines? <laughs> well, that's, that's, so that's, that's so specific for this, this eight-year-old. Super specific. In the last three minutes, you've looked at your phone, you've looked at your watch, and you've looked at the clock on the wall over there. No, it, it, you know, when you have an Apple Watch and a text comes in, see, that's why I don't like having this kind of technology. Because it awards you and when you're trying to be present with an eight-year-old. Right. Yeah. But when you look, people go, oh, do you have to leave? And it's just like, no, I'm, you know, I'm still being rude. <laughs> <laughs> you found other ways to be rude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. only are you looking at this, your phone. Because this one is so like. Ugh, a stab in the gut. He went like this. This one's like a quickie. And then he went literally like this as well. Yeah, this one's like a quickie. Like, hey. Mm -hmm. You know? BRB. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that concludes my big debut as a podcast television host on my channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. Then Eric, you, do you have any plugs? Then you just hear the sirens because the police are coming to get me because <laughs> your parents are watching live. Imagine. <laughs> Wait, is that our garage? With your hands up. <laughs> what? That was my toy ambulance. I was just like, did RoboCop come? <laughs> this is in the future. By the way, you've really worked on the accent. I like it. <laughs> is it better than it was before? Yeah, it's it's less, you know, it's less, you know. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. But anyway, see Eric Griffin on the silver screen, the gold screen, and also the platinum screens. Why would you call it a silver screen? Uh, because of the movie theaters. Yeah, I don't think an eight-year-old would know that. Have you heard of Google? <laughs> Have That's you heard of Google? I thought you found me, right? Yeah. I looked up your IMDb Pro. <laughs> I contacted you through the site. I paid the money. In the subscription, I saved up. My parents asked me what I wanted for my birthday. Said, and you know what I said? An IMDb Pro, Pro subscription. <laughs> it's an odd thing for an eight-year-old to ask for, but okay. I am big on the stars. Maybe a haircut would have been a, a thing, good thing to ask I for. I cannot afford a haircut. <laughs> all your money going to IMDb Pro. <laughs> it's all going to IMDb Pro. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Eric. was a weird kid here earlier jeremiah he was i'm not sure if he was asian or or if he was just slow i'm not sure if he, <laughs> those were his two options yeah or he just had he just put his retainer in <laughs> you know it might have been that <laughs> that's the safe bet <laughs> i'm gonna quote that that that's the safe bet whether it's because <laughs> you're the options you're giving me are slow <laughs> Asian or retainer, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with the retainer if you're giving me those three options. I'm pretty sure that's where we're going to well, go. Well, if you're trying to work on a network show, that's what for sure. <laughs> those are for sure the options. Right. Oh, it is hot as hell in here. It did get a little toasty. <laughs> you think? You think? It got a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to start to do this. Oof, yeah. Ooh, girl. Yeah, I feel like a, like a black woman in a church. I'm just ooh, like, ooh, ooh, ooh. it's super hot in here. Mm -hmm. just, I need one of those cardboard fans. Do you yeah. remember those at, at church? Yeah. Or you just use the program. Program. But I ha when I went to church, it was literally like almost like paint stick kind of things. Yep. 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 With the cardboard on top yep. that and had, had and Bible verses it, it, oh, or sermons on it. Or it'd be like whoever's sponsoring who, you know, it'd be like, you know, whoever's helping the church. So it'd be like, you know, Jerry's Chicken Shack on Jefferson and such and such. <laughs> Did Loves First Lutheran. <laughs> that's what that's what it would be. Those are before podcast ad reads. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Those are the Dude, ad reads. The church programs, man. They had they were full of ads in yeah. the back. Yeah, you know. Hey, Jesus got to make money too. Imagine you being in church and a 
the priest is going in and you're looking like, oh, we can get a discount at that. Mm, <laughs> wait a second. Two dollars off? <laughs> a five piece? <laughs> <laughs> and they, you, you just hear people tearing the church. <laughs> yeah, yeah, while he's like, a, <laughs> and the law <laughs> said he would come down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Stupid. Um, Now, you're going to love this next segment. Oh, God. <laughs> This next segment is called Wig. <laughs> wig! Listen, I know you're on the other side of that glass and all right now. Thank God. But here in about five minutes, I'm about to tear that up. What, what are you about to tear up? You, big man walking. <laughs> you... <laughs> Wait, first of all, you gonna get tore up. That's let's get that. Oh, really? That's what it's like. <laughs> yeah, let's get that. Oh, let's get that. <laughs> Put the ground rules out first right now. First and foremost, you gonna tear this ass up. <laughs> yeah, you, you gonna be the one that's gonna get toe up. Yo, I mean, I like a woman in control. You know what I'm saying? I like that. You know they they, they said it was a pen pal program. And you just write a letter to help out a prisoner. Yeah. And then next thing you know, I'm getting told it's a conjugal visit. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I mean, that's what just what it is, man. I, think- I mean, would it help? Would it help you if? Oh wait, there's some. You might need to hear me a little bit better with those. Oh, yeah, Jesus they got Christ. they they got a, a the the plug on the phone for you. You know what Would it be better if I talked to you like this? No. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's cool. This is why you you, you must put your pronouns <laughs> on the on the on the application before you do anything. Cause You feeling uncomfortable? Yeah, I'm feeling a little my What dad, it is, Sheila? My, We've been writing for a long time. And then your ass Sheila. finally get here and then you like, oh, we not gonna do anything? <laughs> yeah, just I can't. I feel hoodwinked. What you mean you feel hoodwinked? I feel the guard said, "Just put this wig on; it helps." And the next thing you know, here I am across from the glass, being told I'm gonna get toe up. I don't know if this is all right. Well, can we just be friends then? What am I, not everything that I lived out to be in those letters? I know that I'm a little Shakespeare with a pen. Yeah, you, you, you fooled me, and I thought you, it was something different. Oh, okay. I did. I thought it was, you know, you had some investment ideas. You know. I mean, I got some app ideas. Well, see, I thought you were in here for embezzling, and then. I mean, I'm here for a little bit of this, a little bit of that. <laughs> what are you in here for? What are you really in here for? Well, shanking people. <laughs> also, a little bit of paprika armed robbery. <laughs> okay, so you shank people, uh-huh. armed robbery. Hell yeah. Sometimes at the same time. Sodomize. So- okay, there uh-huh. we- so it's a little sodomy, all yeah. right. That's paprika in there too, or is that? No, that's more of like an okra. <laughs> okay, so now we making a soup. We making a good old gumbo. <laughs> we making a gumbo. We making a crime gumbo soup with shanks today. We making a crime. Oh my god, it's uh, my neck is my back. Your pussy and my crack. I get it. <laughs> I get it. <sighs> you know, I. I should have known. This is my fault. You okay. Know you know what? You know what? This is this is completely my fault. You know, I, you can take your wig off. I'm gonna go take a bathroom break. I'll be right back. All right. Is the wig is? Yeah, you can take it off. It's I all mean, good. My neck is itchy. Yeah, you can take it off. I'm gonna I'm gonna bounce for a second. It's hard to get into character when, you know what I mean? Like I feel yeah. like these set conditions. <laughs> Hey man, it's a working man's wages out here, though. Like, like my SAG rep would be like, "Are you comfortable?" <laughs> hey man, that's why I got you water. The water's gone. There's no more water. 
I'm gonna go get you more water, water inside. Water was gone in the first thirty minutes. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go so, get you more water because it's so hot in here. I didn't know I was dealing with a diva. Yeah, well, you put. This is what happens. It comes with the wig. <laughs> yeah, that is true. And you looking fine as hell in that thing. You looking like a sexy judge from the 15th century. Uh, uh, you, uh, uh, right. Yeah. Guilty. You look like a Peggy Sue never got married. <laughs> <laughs> And here we are. <laughs> and this, this, and this would have been. So welcome back to another episode of Jeremiah Wonders. <laughs> I'm your host Jeremiah. You know, <sighs> you were sort of here earlier because there was an eight year old Asian kid <laughs> who was. <laughs> Dude, think about <laughs> who was here. Who I was miss here you. Earlier. I love you. I haven't seen you in a while. But really, really think about what you're about to say. <laughs> it was basically a reunion. <laughs> I, I, didn't so I just well, I'll, let, I'll let you continue. Eight years old. Eight year old. Keep yeah, going. It, it was just what it was one of Jeremiah's characters, and he was trying to be an eight year old, but the accent was going real Asian y. You did that? Yeah. <laughs> you did that? What? And I'm your scissor brother? You don't have my back? Are you trying to, like, just because he's here now, you try to. Why is it so steamy? <laughs> And, and why does it feel like a Korean sauna in this motherfucker? Bro, you and, what, and, and he what, had me wearing this. What did you, what'd you guys do in here? Steve, he had me wearing this too. What is going on? It's and, and, and so then, steamy And I had to do some... All right, thanks for tuning in. Love you guys. I had to do some... No, where no, are you going? Stay put. Stay put. No. You have to stay. Hey, come on, come on, come on. What are you I doing? I we're doing scissor bros. We are. Yeah. Yeah. Why is it so hot? Dude, I'm like starting to sweat over. That's what I said. It's dude, the, you and, gotta... And, get, seriously, dude. Come he, on, man. Get some AC in this wig. Here. He had me in this wig, and I'm doing a conjugal visit all of a sudden, where I'm the girl. You made him wear a wig, man? And then I'm the girl, Steve, with skank or shank. I was the... And then, you know... I'm getting my ass tore up and I'm as hot in here. Yeah. It is my hot neck, in here, dude. My neck is yeah, let's sweaty. get going on. Red Bull for you. I need a Red Bull, buddy. <laughs> so how are you, All Steve? Right. All right, hold yeah. up. I, no, 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 because it's, it's done. Hey, look, uh, is it still filming? Yeah. Uh, what? What, what do you mean, is it still uh, filming? What, what, how long what? is this the extended thing? Steve, yeah. you asked a really crazy question. Is it still filming? Like you saw somebody yeah, come I, up here I, and press these buttons. No, um... <laughs> So, uh, oh, congratulations too on the wedding. Yeah, and, which you uh, were invited to. You said you were coming. Yeah, I uh, yeah I said I RSVP. Yeah, Steve yeah, RSVP. And I was probably one of the first ones to do it. Too. No, you weren't. <laughs> <laughs> I was R I RSVP'd. No, I, I don't I know if you have. Yeah, I did. On the website. Yeah. Okay, I gotta yeah. make sure and check. Yeah. All right. How come it's not at nighttime though? That's the only question. It's at four something. <laughs> it's at four thirty. How come it's not at like eight? Well, you don't do weddings at eight. The real issue, you, seven. The real question you're asking is why is it on a Thursday? Yeah. yeah. Why is it on a Thursday? Because her parents are paying for it, and they got a oh. they got a deal at the oh. place. All and, right, that's cool. Yeah, it is what it is. Okay, and then why that specific location? Why not closer to here? Um, her parents are paying for it. Cheaper. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cheaper. Okay. It's cheaper. It's also dude. a very nice setting. Yeah. Okay. It's really nice. Okay, that's all. I mean, congratulations. That's a big. That's a big step. You know, are you gonna? You're probably gonna t catch a ride with Jeremiah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're welcome. Because I guess your gift to me could be the Uber ride out there. I guess. <laughs> Whoa! Ouch. Whoa, man! Oh man, what you're doing right now? Those last two things, brother. Oh, I thought we were closer than that. Uh, and you already you know, I, you already know that I have a whole issue with my the car scenario. Look, I might yeah, have. What's going on? I might have you? a Chevy Spark by then. A Chevy Whoa. Spark. And we'll end it with that. Whoa! Whoa. That, that lets you know uh, the the Stevie Weeby Show and Scissor Brothers is bringing in Sparks money. <laughs> I missed you. Yeah, man. What's yeah. going on? How can we don't? Uh, no. You look good. You look good too. Yeah. Hey, what's, what's going, going on? on here? You, what? Oh, you got the fuck eye. Yes, my my. He's, my he's my got a watch. watch. Yeah, it's just yeah. a watch. This is called a watch, yeah. Steve. Yeah. So, Eric, do you want to stick around for Scissor Bros? Oh, this, you did this on purpose. What? 
You did this. Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> you. Oh, we man. need you, brother. We need you, brother. Oh, we need you, this. brother. Look, we look need at you, it. dude. This is a nightmare. You, Come on, man. We I'm need not you. Eating anything? <laughs> we'll, we'll get you food. <laughs> we'll get you I'm rumble. Not, uh, like Korean food or something. We will after yeah, yeah. after Scissor Bros. I'm, saying, I'm not doing no crazy shit. Yeah, you're not. You're <laughs> no, 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 no. Just, we'll just be you. we'll figure it out. Yeah. What do you mean we're fit? No, see. No, I don't like that. We'll it won't be crazy. It, it won't be crazy. Like you're, uh, the way you're you can be a ref. Works. You can be a ref for Steve and I is crazy. Okay, uh, yeah, maybe yeah, that. I know. I love this. Hey, this is how you get a twofer from you. <laughs> Thank you so <laughs> much. <laughs> he get a twofer. I see it now. Thank you so much for watching Jeremiah Wonders. What? Look out for Eric Griffin <laughs> on Scissor Bros very soon. I, oh, <laughs> oh man, I, I got to put the word out so people know. <laughs> We love you guys. Thanks for tuning in.